All right, so I purchased myself a new corn grinder. I've had this one for, gosh, I don't know, eight, nine years, and it's just worn out. So uh, I'm gonna unbox this, and then I'm gonna show you uh, the wear points on this. So if you have one of these, you can be aware of uh, the parts that wear out and maybe how to take care of those and prevent it from wearing out as quickly as mine did. Because they really are built to last, unfortunately. Uh, I didn't realize that this was the spot that was going to wear out until well after it was shot. I've got the uh, handle. Uh, the clamp. The hopper. screw and the main body. All right, let's tear down the old one uh, to see if the parts are the same. clamp. And the handle. Um, I've still got, I've still got clay in this because I was in the middle of grinding clay when I gave up on it and realized I needed a new one desperately. So let me dump this clay out. All right the screw, the body, and I and I cannot get this hopper off. Uh, try again. No, it's, uh, it's got enough grit and sand and clay down in that groove between the body and the hopper that I don't think it's ever gonna come off. So here's the parts. Uh, handles, uh, this handle could have lasted forever. There's, I mean, it's dirty. Uh, the wood is a little bit cracked, uh, but this handle could have lasted, you know, another century easily. The screw, um, the screw itself shows a lot of wear, actually, uh, the threads of the screw. So uh, you can replace this plate, and the plate, the plate is where the actual rubber meets the road. That's where the the material is ground is between these plates um, and there's a lot of wear on it but you know you can replace that plate probably fairly inexpensively I haven't looked into what it would cost but um, I have no doubt that uh, that plate is easily replaced there's just a pin here take the pin out uh, and replace that plate that's easy interesting that the old one has a 26 stamped onto it and the new one has a 27 I don't know what that means uh, but the screw itself, uh, it shows a lot of wear on the threads. The threads are what drive the material forward into the plates. And they're almost completely gone at the end here, where they're quite aggressive here. So I've lost a lot of material from the screw itself, and that's going to make it work less efficiently. But the, the most critical part is the tip of the screw, where it goes into the housing of uh, the clamp. And this is what I didn't realize was a problem. I realized the plates were gonna wear when this was brand new. I mean, that's obvious. Um, but where the end of the screw, where the, the tip of the shaft fits into the clamp, okay, there is a ball bearing in here. Now, the clamp itself has worn some around the ball bearing, but much less so than the the tip of the shaft is completely worn out. This is what I realized yesterday. Because that shaft is worn out, it allowed this to move around quite a bit. And so it would get over here sideways and then it let big chunks of dirt out. Or it'd get over here straight and it would grind real nice and fine. So there was no way to keep it, you know, adjusted to a, a certain fineness because, because that tip is worn down to a point, it allowed that shaft to kind of drift back and forth. 
bind up in times. It was just a mess. And like I said, there is somewhere here, whereas this ball bearing will literally fall out. And on the new one, of course, the ball bearing will not fall out. So there's quite a bit of wear here as well. But this is a point of wear that I was, you know, it wasn't obvious to me at first that this was where it was gonna wear. So uh, that being the case, oh, th let me just cover this. The body itself, again, shows very little wear. Uh, overall, the clamp, the body, uh, the hopper could have lasted another century as well. The plate, again, uh, shows a fair deal of wear. Not as much, strangely enough, as this plate, the plate that's on the screw, um, but there is wear here. But again, these are just bolted on. I could have replaced the plate. The handles, I could get a lot more use out of. Um, the screw and the clamp is really where the primary wear took place. So. Uh, this is what I want to warn you about. If you get one of these to grind clay or other minerals, um, be aware. You want to keep this greased. There's a ball bearing in there. So pull the, uh, the adjustment screw out here and you can see the ball bearing there. So the adjustment screw pushes up against the ball bearing and pushes it into the end of this uh, shaft to keep pressure against the material. Uh, so really the life of your grinder is right here right here in that hole. You could st shoot some grease down in there on that ball bearing every once in a while, and I bet you could get a lot more years out of it. Now, I got almost a decade of use out of this, so I'm not complaining. It's only a $45 item, so, you know, uh, I'm not worried about replacing it after a, a decade of use, but not only would this have made it last longer, it may have made my cranking a lot easier over the years if I had known to keep this greased. So, there you have it. Um, Grease your corn grinder, all right? I will add a link to where you can purchase these on Amazon in the video description. I appreciate you watching me take this apart and talk about the corn grinder. I hope you find some good clay that you can grind in your grinder and make pottery. Thanks for watching.